long time no see. This is Yellow Star here, and I just um blow blew dry my hair, blow dried my hair, and I haven't like hot blow dried it for forever. So this is what it looks like. It's been about a year, a little over a year since my hair care journey, and so far I'm really liking the results, and I think that it's grown a lot. I have not cut my hair for a year though and that's kind of the biggest thing right now that I'm dealing with and thinking about and that's because um, I feel like if I go in to get my ends trimmed it's going to be cut and trimmed to the length that it normally is so for me what I'm kind of thinking about doing is not cutting it <laughs> for a while and just um, letting it grow out and then in the end when I get it to the length that I want they can chop off the ends as much as they want and I'll grow it past the length that I want and then they can just cut all the bad stuff off then versus I feel like maybe this is not the correct thinking but I feel like if I cut it now this time next year the same thing's going to happen and I'm not going to really gain anything and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like no you're supposed to cut it and trim it but I feel like I've done that so many times and I've not really gotten anywhere as far as length because you go in you get it cut you go in again and you get it cut and you, I know it's just trimming but I feel like in the very end when I get to where I want to go then we can trim and I will grow it past a little where I want it so then when it gets cut it'll be exactly where I want it but I am about to flat iron and actually hot comb because I need a relaxer this is pretty thick so I'm going to hot comb I know right I'm going to hot comb and flat iron I didn't flat iron I normally flat iron my hair once a month but I didn't flat iron my hair at all in April so it's May and it's summer so during the summer I'm probably going to get into braids or something like that and just give it a break so this might be the only time flat ironing it for the summer who knows we will see well I'll show you the ending results of the flat iron okay okay so I have um not flat ironed it I've taken a hot comb to it and it makes me want to be like flat what? Because it just feels so different. Like my hair feels really nice and I think that there are some advantages to hot combing over flat iron. Um, for one thing, it can definitely attack your new growth like no other. Like you can just get into it. And another thing that I like is that instead of clamping and pulling like you do on a, a flat iron, you're just kind of combing through. I feel like that's less stress on your hair. So I haven't hot combed my hair in so long, but it feels so nice. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to flat iron my hair again. <laughs> but it just feels really good. And I feel like, I mean, I know that it's heat and stuff, but I think that it's less stress than flat ironing. But I really do like the results, even though it's kind of poofy right now. But I like it. I really like it. So I might just bump the ends with my flat iron or something. We'll see what happens. Okay. But this is after the hot combing, and it feels really good. Like, it's soft, and it has a lot of body, and yeah. I'm really enjoying this. And I'm enjoying my results of the hair journey so far. It's very encouraging. I'm like, wow. Like, before you know it, it won't be long before my hair is long. And that's really exciting to me because, yeah, I've always wanted to have long hair. And now I'm on my way. I'm going to get there. So, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so here's my hair. I have to go. I'm, like, almost late to church. But this is it. It's bumped under. Like, of course it would come out more. But I'm trying to bump it under and keep it even type thing. But this is what it looks like right now. But I think it looks so cute. I'm excited. Or uh, I'm happy with the I wish I could bump it under a little more, but I'm seriously like almost late for church.